Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Um, so they coming out with this AIDS memorial. Uh, AIDS memorial? Yeah. What, the people that died of AIDS? Mm-hmm. Even though it's the pandemic's over. I mean, they got medication for it now. Like, look at Maggie Johnson. I remember I found out when I was in high school he had uh, HIV. I said, yeah, he's done. I was hurt, man. That dude's like, what, 60-some? Si- yeah, they came in to detect um, the virus that causes AIDS in his blood. Yeah. He's essentially cured so long as he's taking his cocktails. No pun intended. Cocktails. Yeah. Get it? Yeah, I get it. But uh, people, um, they see the uh, the memorial, like the uh, the uh, the uh, the plans for it. And people are like, man, this is ridiculous. What is it going to look like? A huge penis or something? Or a vagina? Well, you'll see. That was, I shouldn't have said that. That was disrespectful. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, check this out. This is what it looks like. There are concerns tonight about raise, uh, being raised about an AIDS memorial like planned for downtown Palm Springs. Right now, the sculpture is planned to look like this. These pictures you're seeing here, some people looks- don't like it. News Channel 3's Jake Grassi live in studio with more on the controversy and possible changes in response to those concerns. Jake. And John, it is a nine-foot yeah, sculpture plan for a Palm Springs park meant to remember yeah, yeah, lives lost to game. HIV and AIDS, but the design doesn't resonate with everyone. In fact, some call it inappropriate, and the committee in charge says they are now listening. There's also the view that it too closely resembles other things. You hear it called the donut all the time. Um, you hear it called the word we can't say on camera all the time. For but. some on social media and beyond, the design resembles an inappropriate body part yeah. on the rear end. The Ain't back side of oh, the really? proposed memorial looks like um, a graphic depiction of the back side of human being. The memorial is privately raising funding so. to put it up at a nine foot it's tall scale in the downtown like park that? near the Maryland statue. It's what expected is? price tag in the range of $500,000. Man. The concern that it could become the butt of a joke. You think? You got a big butthole just sitting. Like when you look at a memorial, it be it should. It's sh- it shut up. It should remind you of what it's for. Like somebody see that? How's that a memorial for people that die with AIDS? We know a majority of those people were gay, so you just put up a big butthole right there. But you know what? To the defense of the statue? I didn't I didn't pop in my head. It was a that didn't pop in your head? Mm-mm, I thought it was a busted condom or something. That looked like a butthole after you and just pulled it out. Yeah, it's gaped just, open. Just gaping. That's a genre, you know. Blood that, right? and semen leaking out. Why you had to say that? So as I saw that came, that's what I was thinking. Blood and semen? Gaping. That's the problem because you're not in anal. I am. I should have recognized it, but I didn't. And it cost five hundred thousand dollars. You know what that? You know what that memorial really costs? Probably about twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> and you, like, when you look at the rest a memorial, of it's profit. <laughs> yeah, when you look at a memorial, it should be reminiscent. It should be reminiscent of what happened, so people yeah. know what's going on. Like you look at a veterans memorial, it's got the names of everybody. Yeah, you know. Dude, it got names on his butthole? I don't think so. Just it's just a big just a, just just a, just a gaping um at least could have put another, you know, another structure beside like some bottle of lube or something. And then on a the bottle of lube you put the names. You know? You know what they should have did? It should be the donut and then uh, a tube coming through it. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hole, right? The donut? Yeah. And then you got something coming through it. Like what? Just a tube. A tube? <laughs> What's the tube for? You get something sticking through the hole like this. That's what you should put. And then right up in the tube, put two balls <laughs> And then y'all can have all y'all's gay pride parades there. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? These artsy people, they're kind of twisted mentally. Remember that statue they did, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King? Yeah. Look like a huge penis. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. Now they come out with a butthole for people to die, but they. <laughs> yeah, they're too artsy. 
You got to look it from the person, everybody's perspective when they see it. Most people going to walk through that park like, man, what's this donut sitting here? Oh, that's the AIDS memorial. Donut looks like a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> y'all just, I thought it was a memorial for cops. <laughs> I mean, if y'all could have checked for $500,000 for this, y'all, you'll pay anything. You got to be doing credit check for that for $500,000. You gay. It was a nice pun that reporter said it didn't be a butt of a joke. You get it? Yeah. Hey, our giveaway is almost up. Last few days, giving away a Ram Diesel 2500 pickup truck. Comes with a nice cranny in there, too, called Allison. The only kind of cranny I like. You know you like a Latranis, man. And $10,000 in code hard cash. The end of the win. Go to fishhardstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. End of the win.